I am David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we will have a look at Lightspeed. The installation is fairly simple, you just add Qi Gandor Lightspeed Envim to your favorite package manager and you're good to go. You also have the possibility to add optional configuration options, but we won't need that in that video. The use case of Lightspeed is to jump to specific locations. As a first step, you should always look at the location where you want to jump to. For example here, Event Emitter. The next step is you press S to go into search mode. And now you type the letters of the location, in this case, uppercase E and V. And now you jump to this location. Let's go back. You might have noticed different colors, so let's do this again. I press S, capital E, and now you can see in the destination which we wanted to go before, it's just white text. But there are also um, color texts which have special meaning. For white text, you just have to press the second character to directly jump to the position. In this case, V, and we're there. For the other characters, it's a bit more complicated, so let's just press S, capital E. So here we have to provide the second character as before, V, but then we have to press the letter S to jump to it. So let's try it, V, S, and we're there. It's always possible to first enter the characters of the target, in this case E, V, and then optionally choose the label where you want to jump to. But you can also use a so-called shortcut, so let's do it again. I press S, capital E, and because it has a red background, I can also directly jump to it by not pressing V and then the label S, but just pressing S. So I just now press S and I immediately jump to this position. But usually you are a lot quicker to type the second character, so it's perfectly fine to press S, capital E, and immediately the second character, because that's what you wanted to type anyway, and then check if a, an additional label is needed, in this case S. Now let's look at the third possibility. Let's say we want to navigate to this emitter part here. We press S, capital E, and now you can see you have red text, that means there's no shortcut available and you have to press the second character of your destination, in this case it's an M, and then you have to press the label S. So let's press M, S, and we jump here. So all in all, the easiest tactic is to first look at your destination, for example here this require, then press S and the first two letters of it, and if a label is visible you have to press the label. So let's just try it. S, R, E, Shift, Z, and we're there. Depending on your preference, your tactic can also be to look at the destination, press S, only enter the first character and hope that a label will come up to press the label as a shortcut. For example, here, S, R, C. What I like is that the label is immediately shown after pressing the first character, so while I type the second character, in this case M, my mind can already process which label to press next. So in this case I press S, capital E, and now while I type M I can already process that I need to press the key S afterwards. M, S. If you want to jump to the last character of a line, for example here the semicolon, you have to press enter as the second key. For example here, S, semicolon, enter, and I jump here. Keep in mind that the direction of your search is important. If you want to search for something after your cursor, you press S. Before your cursor, you press Shift S. For example, if I want to go here, I press Shift S, M, I, and I jump here. All of this also works in operator pending mode, but instead of the letter S, you have to press the letter Z. So let's just say we want to delete everything up until this require here. I press D, Z, R, E, Shift, F, and now everything until that location is deleted. This also works for other operations, for example yanking. So let's say I want to yank the text until here, until create application. So I can press Y, Z, C, R, N, 
and everything until here is yanked and I can paste it if I want to. The other thing Lightspeed changes is the F command. Originally the F command works like that, that you press F and then some specific character to jump to this and that character has to appear on the same line. So if I press here F B, I would jump to B. And if I want to go to the next B, I would need to press the semicolon. In Lightspeed it works a bit differently except the first occurrence. So for the first occurrence, I just press FB and I'm immediately there as before. But for the next occurrence, uh, you have to press F instead of the semicolon. So if I wanna go to this B, I press FB and then F again to jump to the next occurrence. And also here, the direction is important. If I wanna jump to a position before my cursor, for example here, I have to press Shift FB. Another nice addition to the original F behavior is that it's not restricted to one line. So for example, if I want to go to the next uppercase E, I can just press F uppercase E and it goes to the next line. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.